Let's look at a situation where two friends are talking. One person asks his friend, what is 2 plus 2? His friend replies saying, 4. If you observe here, one person asks the question and other responds with an answer. The person asks the question is a programmer and the person replying is a computer. The question here is called instruction. The programmer does the programming which is sometimes also referred to as coding. Programmer or coder will program or code multiple instructions together called a program. So the programmer will write a program and the computer will reply with the results. Now let's look at a sample program to understand how things work. Here is a sample program showing a small snippet of if else conditional statement in programming. Which tells the computer that if the condition is true, do this, as the, if the condition is false, then do another thing. If the programmer were to ask a computer whether A is greater than B and print which is greater, the program would look like this. If this program is given to the computer, the computer will go through each line and try to understand what each instruction means and perform operations individually. Here in this example, the computer will go through the first line and encounters the if keyword. Keywords are predefined reserved words used in programming that have special meanings. Once the computer sees if keyword, it expects a condition statement. If the result of the condition is true, then second line will be executed. If the condition is false, then it will go to third line with else keyword and the fourth line will be executed. Humans understand different languages like English, Hindi, Spanish and so on. But computers won't understand these. They talk in something called binary, which is zeros and ones. But writing programs in binary is hard. For example, Number 9 in decimal should be converted to 1001 for computer to understand. So to make things simple, we have programs which will transform the instructions that we write in English language to binary. These programs are called compilers. But these compilers also won't directly understand the sentences we write in literary English. They need instructions to be written in a predefined structure called syntax. There are a lot of programming languages that you will encounter when you start your journey in coding. Some of the top programming languages are Python, Java, JavaScript, C++, C Sharp, PHP, R and so on. Well, I think all of you guys understand the basics of coding and I guess I've cleared a lot of basic programming concepts. Please write in comments if you have any doubts or want to know about anything in computer science. I will make a video for it. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.